You ready? Not yes. Me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate on how to put a lanyard, a beaded land, handmade bead of lanyard together for today. Go about half an inch. I use regular cotton thread. I'm just gonna sew this. I'm just gonna sew this together right here. Yeah. A beaded lanyard. Thread breaks sometimes. We're gonna go this way. Back in here. Is there <laughs> I tried one time I use um, super glue and it broke I guess when it gets drier or whatnot it does break so back to the same wood glue <laughs> is what I use so far I haven't had no complaints yet just to keep this together <laughs> Is he your dad? Or? Okay.
this white. She's seen me setting up my stuff. She says, Mom, why do you go from that, that, you know, the color I'm going? I don't know if you noticed it yesterday. It's the same way I set it up. And then I told her, I says, well, does the time go backward? And she says, no. <laughs> I says, that's just the way it's supposed to go. I said, in the morning, the light's lighter than it is in, in, at night. And she says, oh, okay. And so you set up your plate going... Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. And do you always set up the colors mm -hmm. in the exact same way, some lightest to darkest? Yeah. Wow. Looks like the maroon's going to play a trick on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just the size of this right here, we're gonna, I, well, I already automatically know we're gonna go with an odd number design. Seven. So we're gonna start off with seven.
back at the beginning. We're going to start off with the third one. So for this design, I'm going to go two of the original colors and then it's going to fall one after another. I keep tugging at this one to keep it tight. I didn't. I um, for the I, for the lanyards is just to keep it snug as you pull on it. And I didn't explain that yesterday. The reason why I put this on is the scrap, the pig scrap on it is because the, the beads won't move around. This is kind of like, it's just a step. Um, the design I made yesterday for an odd number, it's not going to look right because it, as, as the flow goes, like here, it's going to be short. As it, as it is, you can tell it's already, you know, there's not enough room to put a certain design in there. But let's say if we were going to put a flag on this, that would work. The flag works both with the, the even and the odd number design. So what's one of the bigger things that you've done? Um, I'd say, um, at least my daughter is just turned 11, about 11 years, 10 years ago I made a cane. Huh. I beaded a cane, which is one of the very interesting things I've done.
I've seen me I've seen people make butterfly earrings and it's like yeah they have a lot of good <laughs> really good imagination to put that stuff together <laughs> I'm like I'm not there yet I did a request a couple years back for a lady that works at the hospital. She wanted this, she wanted this whole thing beaded to about here. I told her I'm gonna charge you 150. And she's like, why so much? I said, because the whole thing is gonna be hand beaded. And when I put it together, it's gonna have the scrap underneath all the way to the top. She says, why can't you just beat it on like that? I says, because if I was to just beat them, beat the beads on to this, you're going to have a bunch of, it's, it's not going to feel right. And it's, you know, it's time now, it's going to it's gonna fall off. Or you're going to lose it, lose, lose your bead somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I said, yes. So I did it for her. I took it to her. And I seen her a couple couple weeks ago. She said, I still have it. I still wear it. And it hasn't fallen apart, she says. So I told you. I said, if I didn't put that the scrap underneath it, it would have just, it wouldn't have held, hold, held together that long. She was a registered nurse here. Hmm. So. And then here, she's like, I got on the plane and they were asking me if there was a compartment to one of the keychains. <laughs> to the keychains. And I was laughing at her. Said, Why were they telling you? Were they thinking you were smuggling drugs? And she says, yes. <laughs> she said, they actually took one and broke, him, broke it from her. Wow. I was like, oh no. <laughs> so your art is internationally known then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like I said, I don't do a picture. I don't even take a picture of my own work. And then my work, is, I only do it Upon request, I don't make it and go around and sell it. Like I said, I learned when I was 16, when I graduated high school, I went to work at Walmart. Then I left Walmart and went back to school. Got my nursing assistant certificate, so I went to work up here at the hospital. And then all of a sudden I seen one of the ladies wearing, wearing one of these. Then I went home and I told my dad, why don't you try making some, I said. And he said, well, how is it made? And then I went out and I bought the supplies for him and I took it back to him. He figured a way to put it together. and he, I think he made like 10. 
He sold them all within a matter of minutes. Wow. And then um, they started making them. And then one day I was at work again and I seen one of the ladies wearing the stethoscope. And I went to see my dad again and I told my dad, why don't you try making a stethoscope? And he looks at me. Where are you coming up with these ideas? He says, I says, the ladies at work are wearing them. So he says, okay. I went out, bought him the supplies again, and I took it home. He made them. That went crazy still to this day. Mm -hmm. They order and they order. As a matter of fact, I seen my work on a poster at the hospital. Wow. wow. <laughs> and then um I went to um tell you ride one winter. And then I seen this lady wearing a pin around her neck, and it was beaded. And I came home and I told my dad, <laughs> I told my dad about it again. He says, "Yeah, I seen that one." He says, "But how am I going to get this the the string through the lid? Because they wear it around their necks." <laughs> We figured it out and we made some pins. As the years went by, you know how gel pins came in were more usable than ink pins. Mm -hmm. So they were requested for gel pins. And I told my mom, I'm going to figure out how to make those one of these days. And I just lost her last November. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I found a way to put it back to put, put a gel pin together. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the starting point. So we're gonna go ahead and put another one here. We're gonna go ahead and run the thread through. Run the thread all the way through here.
And I also make the, the keychains. Also out of these. So they like, they come out about like that small. Hmm. You should cut them in half and put them together and beat them like this. Um, a turtle. Hmm. And I was like, I don't know how that person put it. <laughs> put a turtle together and I was like, wow. I tried looking at it. But I wouldn't even know where to start from. And then I've noticed some um, people did some like vases. Wow. And I went up close and I was looking at it, but it's just it's just rolled on. Mm. I tried to start a base. I gave up halfway, it says it's too much time. Yeah. It was just a thin, skinny one, you know how you put one one rose in there, base, mm -hmm. kind of a base? So no. <laughs> <laughs> and it wouldn't be worth it. Mm -mm. There's one thing I want to try but I haven't given it a shot yet is you know how they have the the spoons? Yes. I want to try one of those when I have it. And then the lanyards, they come in different sizes. This is actually 36 inch, and then you have a 42 inch. So we're going with the 36 inch, and we're just gonna go to three and a half. We'll go to four inch here. And the thinner the, the scrap is, the easier to work with <laughs> because um, it stretches as, as you put the glue on there, it also stretches.
And up here, it's usually only, I only start off with five. It could fall either way. You could end up with the white here and then the black up here with one following after another. And then on the odd design, I mean the even design, how it has the flow. My mom used to go up and down. And I was like, I, I mean, I can't even do that. I don't know how she did it. trying to even it out just like the bottom so
try to put the same amount on each side <laughs> so it could be even. Thank you. 